All right, so we're going to run through another Source Mogul tutorial here. Now, I've been loving this software lately. It's a game changer for anyone doing online arbitrage from retail websites like you see here, right? Costco, Dick's, Home Depot, Walmart, anything like that. Any retail websites where you're scanning that site and looking for a discrepancy in price from that site to Amazon so you can buy it from one place, ship it into FBA, and make a markup in profit okay so i just scanned two last night let's check out dicks i haven't set this up i haven't even looked at these yet i'll run through this exactly like i would any other day by myself if you weren't here with me okay so i'm gonna click into dicks right here and we're gonna hit view results now i'm gonna set my initial roi to about 30 percent here and i'm gonna set my profit to about seven dollars that's what i usually like to start with sometimes i change it up sometimes i change it down i like to make things a little bit more specific initially and then if it doesn't seem to work i'll broaden it out so i see more products that said usually if you have a big store like dicks or any of these stores you know really in the source mogul software you will see a decent amount of products you know unless you're going super super specific okay i also want my match rate accuracy all the way up and i'm going to go to my sales rank and filter it down to under a hundred thousand now i'm also going to hit remove products without a buy box so now you see that there's only three results here after the fact right now obviously i can broaden the search out a little bit more if i wanted to find more, more products i can drop this down to like 20 percent. but let's go through and check these three right here so let's check out some of these right here now you'll see the discrepancy right here dix is selling the same exact thing right here for 647 amazon has it listed for 2077 now because my high my match rate accuracy is all the way up the further right you go the low the lower chance that these will be the exact product but because it's all the way up you can pretty much not guarantee but but be almost sure that they're usually the same product roughly but you still want to always check them okay so i'm going to click the dicks thing right here and i'm also going to click the amazon one and i'm going to find out if they are if there are discrepancies in these actual flags and if they are, are actually the same so i would need to look for some specs right here it looks like this is 15 by 10.5 15 by 10.5 it looks like it's the same exact flag right here so this is selling for 23.69 on amazon and this is selling for uh 9.99 actually on uh dicks it might have gone up since i scanned it it looks like it was 647 uh so if we there is there a coupon code no there is not so yeah so it, it did go up so then we, but but also it went up on amazon as well right because it told told us that amazon was selling it for 20 bucks and dicks was selling it for six when in reality Dix is selling it for $9.99 and Amazon is selling it for $23. So they both went up about three bucks, so there's still a good margin there to be made. Now you always want to make sure, right? So you want to go through the checklist. So you want to basically see, okay, if we buy this for X amount and we sell it back on Amazon for Y amount, is there a profit to be made? You also want to go through and you want to check to see, okay, can I actually sell this, right? That's always the number one thing that you want to do, right? You want to see, okay, the ASIN, copy it, take it into Seller Central, add a product, and see if you actually can sell it yourself, okay? Now, you also know that because I scanned this last night, it did change a little bit, so you do want to kind of scan. I don't ever recommend just like scanning a bunch of things in Source Mogul if we go back to the software and we go to like status. I don't recommend scanning a few things like you'll see here and then going back and doing like old ones because they're going to be outdated right just like you're seeing here the sales rank might change a little bit the prices might change because i waited on them so you want to scan and then do it fairly quickly ideally that same day but if not then try it the next day or maybe at most the day after that but you don't want to leave them there too long because things will change prices will change especially if they're running like a clearance or a sale things could obviously change that way okay so now we want to make sure that it is selling well and obviously it's 116 in sports and outdoors so it's selling decently i'm going to use the jungle scout chrome extension to tell me exactly what it's selling it's estimating about 30 a month about one a day so it's still selling just not a lot there's four people on the listing but there is a profit to be made so i would want to check to see if i can make a profit right so the another one this is free amz scout calculator i love this one and we're going to basically pop in 9.99 because that was our cost i'm going to estimate it cost me a buck to ship it into fba and that leaves my profit margin at about 665 per unit so i don't want to buy too too many of these because there are four other people on the listing and there's only about one a day selling so i want to go to the online seller add-on which is another free google chrome extension and i'm going to see exactly how many of these each person has in stock so once this loads it's going to tell me 
And while there are four other people, it doesn't look like anybody really has a good number in stock. And if you look, there's only one person that has an FBA offer, and it is new, okay? So really, if I ship it into FBA, I'm only going to be competing with this 2369. So if I ship it into FBA, by the time it gets in there, and these might be gone, I might be able to sell it for a little bit higher than these people right here, because they're all FBM, as you can see. So I'm really only competing on price with the one person. So maybe I'd grab about five of these units and lock in like a $30 profit margin but obviously I would make that call myself after the fact I'm just kind of running through you uh, running through a tutorial to kind of show you how I'd approach this okay so usually I like to stay away from ones right here if there's no picture but because we only have three results and it's a little bit specific right here I'll click them and see if they're the same so this is selling for 72 bucks, which seems ridiculous in my opinion. And that seems a little too good to be true. Plus there's shipping. So I'm gonna stay away from that because it's not a prime offer. Uh, and it just seems it just seems a little sketchy to me. Same thing with this one. This one looks like it's, uh, well, actually this one's a little bit uh, more normal. So 18, uh, 12 and the Kansas City Chiefs pennant. We'll see if what it's selling for on Dick's. And once it loads, we'll be able to see. So it does look like it's the same thing, 249 for this pennant right here. Is this the same pennant? It looks very similar. And I'm going to go ahead and say that's roughly the same pennant. We've got the red on the thing, the red on the thing. Yeah, that's roughly the same pennant. So although the price did, oh, oh wait, no, wait, there's shipping here. So that is also sketchy and something I would probably stay away from. Although I'm going to look more into it a little bit, right? It looks like the price has stayed steady right here. Although keep in mind that there's shipping involved there too. So if I shipped it in, it'd probably be like 18 bucks. And because this is super low and it does seem sketchy, I might still go after it because there's practically no risk here if I'm buying this for 250. So let me scroll down and check into it a little bit more. It's 142 in sports and outdoors, so that also is a little bit lower than I like to see. It's going to tell me that it's selling, selling about one a day, 45 a month. Um, that could obviously fluctuate. So this is a, probably a, an item that if I were going, you know, to be perfectly honest, a little bit broader here, and there were a bunch of other items to, you know, kind of show you, I would avoid just because there's so many moving parts there. Obviously, you also want to check the ASIN to see if you can sell it, but... I might take a chance on this just because it's super low risk because I'm buying each one for 250 Maybe I buy like five of them, ship them in, and see if I can make a margin on it. Because if I could make a margin on it, let's just run the numbers here with the AMZ Scout calculator. And obviously, it's not going to pop it up this time. So if we took it the ASIN, another way, if you don't actually want to download that one, you can go into the uh, Amazon FBA calculator. Pull that up. It's the free one that Amazon gives you. And then just paste the ASIN in and then all the numbers as well. So the item price right here, I think, was roughly like $18.99 with shipping. Let's even go lower than that. Let's estimate $17.99. It's gonna, I'm gonna estimate it costs us a buck to ship it into FBA, and our cost of the product was $250. So there's still a decent margin here. I'm spending $250 to get $830 back. That's a pretty solid margin right there. So it might be something I take a chance on, although it is not ideal, okay? Now, if this were the case, usually you rarely see like three. I would obviously broaden this out a little bit. I may drop it down to like a 25% ROI and like a $6 profit margin. And you'll see, obviously, that's going to give me six of them now. So this one right here might be a good one too. Let's try one more. I don't want to waste your time. Obviously, I kind of want to just show you the process so that you can utilize the process yourself and find good products to buy. So let's go through one more example right here. This looks like it's the same product as well, Berkeley Nano Unifil Fishing Line. Berkeley Nano Unifil Fishing Line. It also has the same same uh, case, I guess, same product packaging. So Berkeley Nano Fill Fishing Line, Berkeley six pounds. Peel here is this six pounds? It is. So while this does look relatively similar, oh, okay, here's a different one. Clear Mist. Is that the one right there? Clear Mist. Clear Mist. Okay, so we did find it. It's this one right here. It's the Clear Mist. So it is selling for thirty three fifty six right here. Um, and on Dix, it looks like it's selling for nineteen ninety nine, I believe. So if we get the the six pound, because that's what the one in in uh, Amazon is, right? This oh no, that's eight pound. Excuse me, eight pounds. 
it's $38.99. So then that becomes a bad buy if you look at the, the 8 pound 300 yards, 8 pound 300 yards. It, there is no margin on this anymore. So it looks like the price went back up. It could have been a sale. Maybe, maybe Dix was running like a clearance sale or something like that. But that price isn't there anymore. So that's just a short tutorial of how to use Source Mogul to scan through retail websites. If you go to sort, search and search by supplier like I've shown you in the past, there are a number of sites to scan here. It's super easy to scan them. You literally just click it and then click start search it's going to scan through itself right you don't have to manually scan anymore it's literally going to pull up the products super quickly you come back like five to ten minutes later and boom you can view the results so i'm going to actually sort through costco now to source for myself but i really hope that this tutorial actually helped you guys out so that you can easier and quick more quickly excuse me identify profitable products so you can make better judgment calls and buy more profitable products quicker